Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So we're back with another ranch episode and we've got quite a few little jobs that we have to do today. First thing I noticed is the dog. Doesn't seem to be in a great way does he? So I think first on the list is take the dog to the vet. So come on Alyssa, let's go and get Jeff seen to and then we can focus on the rest of our tasks. So you might notice since the last episode um, when we ran the shop we've got a little bit more money than we did. Oh cream sheep is thinking of leaving. Yeah we've got a little bit more money because I went to our wine racks and I basically just sold all of the wine we had left. There was only like four bottles I think that were finely aged. Because um, I don't want to be running the shop every single episode. I feel like that might get a bit boring and repetitive. So we're not going to be in the shop today. Probably in the next episode we'll show our face and um, put a shift in. So I just sold a few bottles. I sold some of our um, harvestables that we didn't need. I think I sold a few pears, things like that. Because it just kind of got ridiculous. I had like a load of flowers that were worth like six grand. I had four grand's worth of strawberries. And when it comes to like strawberries and grapes, I've got all that stuff growing anyway. So we've got a little bit more money in the bank. Um, the stock that I have at the shop, I'm just going to leave there. Until the next time we go in and work a shift. Don't tell off another dog. Hey, don't be such a bitch, Alyssa. So we're going to keep the stock as it is, but just sell a few things as we go. Come on, Jeff, let's get you seen to. We've got a few people in the wars. Jeff obviously has some kind of illness. Dev also is unwell, so I might have to get him to get some medication as well. Cream Sheep is thinking about leaving. I think what I might do when I get home is um, we'll go through all the little animals and make sure that they're all fed and clean. Not really any set goals for this episode. I just kind of want to progress us a little bit more. Let's do expensive treatment, we can afford it. Yeah, I think we'll do a few horse competitions if we get the chance. Maybe try and get Tulip to um, skill level 9 in all areas. I, mean, I don't think that'll be too difficult. We've only got two skills here, jumping and endurance, to get to level 9. So I think probably I'll make the most of my horse training rabbit holes to do that because we have a few jobs as well. We're fully in the winter season and currently... We don't have many crops growing outside. All of our autumn plants have died now, so we've got to start planting some winter ones that'll last us. Because I think we've got winter for like 28 days or something, if I'm not mistaken. So we may as well make the most of winter. All right, the dog's better. Dev, um, let's have you order some medicine and then you can just take it. Oh, Dev's got stuff in his um, inventory as well. I didn't even notice that. Okay, we're back. It's a very snowy day. How are my chickens doing? Oh, they're hungry. Okay, let's scatter some feed, collect the eggs, clean the coop, and then cream sheep needs to be cleaned. We'll refill that feeder over there. That's a funny way of running there, Alyssa. And where are my other baby animals? Hopefully none of them have ran away. Black mini goat, where are you? Over here. Are you doing good? Needs a bit of a clean. We'll clean you. White sheep is playing dead, and white sheep is pretty content. White sheep, white goat is pretty content, and I think white sheep is pretty happy as well. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Those are all my mini critters taken care of then. Thinking about maybe getting another wine rack just to have a bit more storage space. Might encourage me to produce a bit more wine. In fact, Dev's got quite a high um, nectar making skill, so I could always put him to work. In fact, you know what? I think I will. Oh, do I have... Oh, I've got an unfinished bottle here. And I can't really seem to do anything about it. What if I just reset the object? Oh, I can't remove this bottle of wine from the Nectar Maker. Okay, I'll get some, some wine racks here as well. So I've got loads of wine racks now. And I have a new Nectar Maker just because I'm too lazy to figure out what the actual problem is. So you know what, Dev? I am just going to have you craft like five bottles put you to work while Alyssa's busy. We still tending to those mini animals? Yeah, I think so. Looks like Pumpkin could do with a little clean. We'll clean her hooves. Day three of 28. Okay, so I think in my inventory, I've got some um, winter, I've got a winter seed packet that I think I got from one of the gnomes actually for Thanksgiving, but I might just buy, I don't know, I might buy a few more seasonal plants. Really make the most of all this outdoor space. Oh, I could get some uncommon plants as well, maybe for my greenhouse or something. Oh, also I want to befriend Patchy as well. That's been on my to-do list for ages. I was actually going to do that, like, before Halloween. But 
Never really got round to it. Other things got in the way, it seems. Okay, let's open all of our seed packets and see what we can actually plant. Okay, we've got a few, got a few things. While I take a look, I'm gonna try and try and use this time well and maybe um, socialize with Patchy and see if I can finally get him to be my friend because he might actually help me out with some of this gardening. There's just so much to do. I already have a gardener, I already have a ranch hand and somehow that's still not enough. Okay, so what did I actually get from my plants? I've got tulips, that must have come from my garden. Oh. Did he just come to life? Oh no, he just scared me. Okay, I've got pear trees. I think I already have quite a few of those though. Cherries. Got this flower. That's all I have for winter stuff. Hmm, okay. I mean, that's not exactly great. Dev, come and craft some more nectar. If you don't have enough fruit, then just come harvest all of this and then make some more bottles. We should already be pretty good friends. But I mean, yeah, we've got pretty strong, pretty solid relationship with Patchy. Okay, I think at this point, this is probably the best I'm going to get. So I'm just going to sell these pumpkins now. Let's just sell all of this stuff. I think all of this is all grown. I really could have tried harder to get better quality, better quality produce. But you know what? It is what it is. I could plant some holly around here. That'll come in handy. Plant some of these flowers as well. Some Christmas roses. Oh, it's too cold. It's too cold to plant anyway. Okay, great. Well, pears seem to make quite a lot of money. So when it's not so cold outside, um, I'll come and plant those pear trees. I already have some pear trees, but they seem to be making quite a lot of money. Why are you scared? Afraid of the dark? Oh, Dev, you're getting a bit tired. I keep forgetting that you exist as well. Maybe I'll try and help you take care of your needs. Why don't you take a shower and then go turn in for the night? And how'd you get on with your um, nectar making? Oh, pretty well. You made seven bottles. That's pretty good going there, Dev. Well done. Oh, I think Alyssa's comforting the dog. Sweet. All right, Alyssa. Well, when you finish cleaning up that plate, I think you may as well turn in for the night as well. And maybe tomorrow we'll take the girls for a few horse competitions. Haven't done competitions for a little while, so it'd be fun to get them back on the saddle. Oh, Dev had a nightmare. Uh -huh. Sleep it off, Dev. You'll be fine. Oh, our eco footprint is green. Great news. Okay, we're a bit hungry. Let's clean out the spoiled food. And uh, we will serve breakfast. Fruit and yogurt parfait. There we go. Just because we got still want to keep working on our cooking skill. Clean up some of these dirty old plates. Why is the fridge still like that? I thought we cle we already cleaned out spoiled food. How much spoiled food is in that fridge? Has the dog been fed? Yeah, he's got his food. Okay, good, good. Dev, chill out. Get some yogurt parfait, man. Get a grip, Dev. You know what, Dev, actually? You can clean out the spoiled food. Alyssa's done enough for this family. We will instead go take a shit. We'll take the girls for a competition and then we will see if we can plant our um, winter plants. And hopefully we'll get the chance to send Tulip and probably Pumpkin as well off for a bit of training. Let's head over. We'll take Tulip, we'll take Pumpkin. Okay. Oh, we've got a few, we've just got to wait a couple of minutes. We're an early bird today. Enter competition. Um, we will do Tulip first. Do we already have gold for Master Everything? I think we do, don't we? Yeah. Okay. We're not going to qualify for the Ultimate Horse Championship. I'm not going to put her through the embarrassment of that. So let's just do Western Pleasure just to win a little bit of money, if anything. I want to make sure Tulip stays used to performing. How are pumpkin skills? Oh, not bad. Not bad. She's got level four for everything. Okay. Still a little while behind Tulip, but that's fine. She's a bit younger than Tulip. She's got time. Pumpkin doesn't have the same level of pressure. Hey, we got gold. No surprise to me, Tulip. I always knew you could do it. Um, and then pumpkin. Mm, I don't think you're really qualified to do any expert ones yet, are you? Well, this one you only got silver for intermediate. So let's do this one and then we'll get you with a, a gold record for every competition you've been in. Ah, oh, still silver. Okay, let's go home. I'm going to send my horses off for training. I'm going to do a little bit of gardening. And who knows, maybe Dev and I can go for a little date night later. I'm just going to pause it for a second and then schedule some horse training. So Tulip needs endurance and what is that one? Jumping. Okay, I'm sending them both off for training. 
Is it still too cold to plant these? No? Okay, good. 280 simoleons by my gardener. Ugh. Okay, let's plant all of these and my pear trees over here as well. Get some uh, winter themed flowers growing. Dev, your needs are pretty good. How about you come and make some, um, some more nectar? How much strawberry do you have in your inventory? 15, enough for plenty of bottles. Come and, graf come and craft like four bottles of strawberry. And then we'll chat with Patchy a little bit more. Oh, unlock the scarecrow outfit. Great. I think that means we're friends now. Ask for gardening tips. Um, check pockets for seeds. Well, seeing as I've got Dev making wine and the horses are out training, I'm going to come harvest some of these flowers and then see what kind of bouquets I can make. I still want to work on my flower arranging skill. Maybe if I push myself and see if I can do some of the higher ones, like Lily, skill level four. We'll try that one. Do I have any roses yet? Yes, okay, perfect. Oh, some of these. Spray area for bugs. I've noticed um, a little bit of a glitch where Alyssa keeps switching between focused and very focused constantly, which is a bit odd. So I, sh I should have rose now. I should be able to make the, um... oh, I can make morning frost, yes. Okay, yeah, let's practice our flower arranging. You okay? Oh, you're... You're grubby. I'll give you a clean white sheep. Just be patient. In fact, do you know what, Dev? You can come and clean white sheep. It shouldn't be me all the time. Come clean white sheep and then um, resume strawberry nectar. Why haven't you finished that? Why is, why is it taking so long just to get you to make one bottle of wine? Honestly, the one time I ask you to pull your weight. God, useless. Oh, pumpkins at temperament level five. Lovely. Oh my god, I have so many bugs around here. What is my gardener doing? Okay, this is good though, this is good. I've got Dev managing this this little garden area here, and then Alyssa is managing the flower garden. I wonder how those crops are that I planted earlier. Oh, they're doing all right, sprouting at least. Yeah, very nice, good job, Patchy, well done. Thanks for watching over them for me. What quality flower arrangement did we have? Oh, still poor quality. Oh, that's such a shame. Okay, I'm just gonna sell it. I wonder how Tulip's doing with her skill. Oh, endurance-wise, she's almost at level nine. Okay, that's good, that's good. Maybe um, what we'll do is we'll take her jumping. Oh, actually, first we'll take a shit. Then we'll take her jumping. In your own sweet time, Melissa. Maybe we'll just go for a ride instead. Let's go for an intense ride and see if we can get you, get Tulip to level nine. Because she's already pretty close. I don't think she's far off. I don't think we need to go that far for her to get to endurance level nine. Pretty manageable, I think. Tulip, don't you? And then I think we'll turn in for the night because you're pretty tired. Oh, your needs in general are a bit low. Yes, endurance level nine. Okay, sweet, sweet. I think she's taking us home now. Yeah, we're heading back to the ranch. Okay, cool. Well done, Tulip. Well done. Right, let's go and take a shower. And then we will get leftovers and then we'll turn in. Dev, how are your needs doing? Oh, you're absolutely fine. Go and craft some nectar then. And then Alyssa, I think we should probably go turn in. Another fairly good day for producing nectar. What are we, 13 out of 13? Any bottles left or is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay, well, we filled another rack. Perhaps I'll just take a quick look and see if I've got anything finely aged. Oh, I've got two finely aged bottles here. Thanks very much. We're going to start having like triple digits in our household funds soon. Who knows, we might even get to a point where we just make triple digits on the daily. Probably not, but maybe. Another finely aged bottle right here. Another one. And I think this is the last one. Okay, cool, cool. Almost at 100k. Jeff is hungry. We better fill that bowl. Wait, there's food in it. Call Jeff to eat. Oh, poor Dev, man. He has all of these fears. Okay, Alyssa, up you get. I think we'll take the girls for uh, some competitions. That will tip us over the uh, six-figure mark. Once we reach over 100k, I want to try and keep this household inventory in, like, the six-figure zone. I want to try and actually see real financial growth from this ranch. We've made a lot of money already. We've spent a lot on renovations. But now I think we can actually start taking 
you know, we start saving, taking it a bit more seriously. Um, at this point, Tulip, it really doesn't matter which competition you do. So I'm just going to send you for barrel racing. Can't really do much to improve you until after you've finished all your horse training. I still think the ultimate horse championship is uh, a little while away still. Oh, we only got silver this time. Oh, I wonder if that's because Tulip wasn't in a good enough mood, maybe. All right, Pumpkin, well, let's do barrel racing again. See how you get on. Maybe she's not in a good enough mood either. I mean, they're both, like, just fine. Neither of them are particularly happy or confident, so maybe we won't make that much. But I'm sure she'll place anyway. Oh, she got gold! Ah, oh, good for you, Pumpkin. You're the star of the show today. Okay, let's go back to the ranch. We'll send the girls off for a bit of training. So I guess we will end up dipping into our six-figure. <laughs> Step out of the horse, Alyssa. But I think the money we spend on training will recoup pretty quickly after we sell a few harvestables and who knows, maybe we'll get a few more bottles of finely aged wine. Okay, I'm sending them off to go training. And do I have anything to harvest? I'm going to harvest everything from over there. Harvest all from my trees. Harvest all these flowers. And then Dev, you can come check on my chickens, my hens. Scatter feed nearby. I think they're all a bit hungry. In fact, Dev, everything in your inventory that doesn't need to be used for nectar can just be sold. So we'll get rid of the pears. Don't need the... Although lemon, meh. Nah. We'll get rid of the lemons. Alyssa's got plenty of lemons. Bell peppers. And I think later, I think definitely we'll go for date night with Dev. I'm going to sell some of these trophies. We don't really need them anymore. I already have so many trophies on display. Hey Alyssa, it's me, Juniper. Do you want to go out on a date? Uh, first of all, Juniper, I have a, a boyfriend. And second of all, you look a little different. Did you get a haircut? I'm going to say no. I don't really need the plantain, so I'll sell that. don't really need the morel mushroom either. Oh, there's a flower arrangement we never finished. We'll resume that. Oh, I can see quite a few sparkles over here. When you have so many plants, it's difficult to keep on top of evolving all of them. Seems like every day they need to be evolved, um, which I'm not complaining about. It's a good thing. But it's just hard to keep on top of. Okay, put that in your inventory. And then we'll make another arrangement. Can't, we're still only flower arranging level four. Must be due an upgrade soon. Let's do this one. Oh, yeah, we're almost at level five. Okay, good. Flower arranging level five. Very nice. Okay. I think um, maybe we'll go and grab a drink or something with Dev. Just have a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time. He's angry again. Why are you so stroppy, Dev? Fear of unfulfilled dreams. Okay, well, maybe I'll try and fulfill some of your dreams, okay? Maybe I'll try and help you out with that, just to try and make you a little more manageable. Stroppy bollocks. Let's just go to the bar. We'll go to the oak barrel. Okay, I think... Let's order a drink. Order drinks for the group. Is there something flirty around here? Strawberry nectar, I think, is quite flirty. Let's get two glasses of strawberry nectar. What do you want to do? You want to become flirty, dance to stereo music, and maybe we'll just uh, do a little bit of sweet talk. Shall we, Dev? A little bit of sweet talk with Alyssa? Where are you guys going? Oh, standing up to do sweet talk. Okay. Blow a kiss. Suave kiss. Oh, you two. You're so cute. See, the passion's still there. Although I'm not sure who this guy is or how he's part of the conversation. I can't even find him. He's not even nearby. So how that guy is part of the conversation, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Okay, just go away. Okay, they're both flirty. There you go. You've got a fulfilled want there. Congratulations, Dev. Oh, they actually look really cute the way they're just holding their glasses so close to each other. It kind of looks like they're giving each other a little cheers. Oh, well, you know, Dev's moved in. Perhaps it could be time for the next step for us. Maybe we should think about the next step, you know? Why don't we do a mistletoe kiss? It's getting festive. It's getting close to that time of year. Let's have a little Christmas kiss, shall we? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's nice to get away from the ranch and just have a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time, you know? I have the option to woohoo, um, but I don't know where they're going to go. I think they're going to say yes, but they're not actually going to have anywhere that they can go. Maybe we should uh, take a little walk outside in the snow, go here together. They both like the snow. 
Snow is the most romantic of weather, I think. And I think it might be a good time to ask a certain someone a certain question. I think it's time for Dev to propose. I think they're at that place in their relationship. I think they're ready. Oh shit, here we go. Dev is proposing to Alyssa. What is she gonna do? Is she gonna say yes? She looks thrilled. I think that's a yes. That's a definite yes. Congratulations, you guys. Happy days, happy days. I think we have to woohoo in a bush now. I just put a bush there for that exact reason. It has to be done. I mean, sure, we've got a boring old bedroom, but this is a special occasion. We should ruffle some feathers. Or in this case, some leaves. Spectators welcome, guys. Spectators welcome. We're not afraid of our happiness. And on that beautiful note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.